The Cahir 313 has returned in 2025, and this time it's making more noise than ever before. Originally revealed by Iran in 2013, the Cahir 313 was met with skepticism around the world. Aviation experts questioned its capabilities, design, and whether it could truly fly. But fast forward to 2025, and we now have a new chapter in this aircraft story, one that suggests Iran is determined to prove the doubters wrong. Let's talk about what's new. The 2025 version of the Quahair 313 has been redesigned with significant upgrades. The overall shape still keeps its stealthy, angular body, but it's now larger, more aerodynamic, and more practical for actual military use. From the outside, it resembles a blend of the F-22 Raptor and the F-117 Nighthawk, with unique design elements that are distinctly Iranian. According to Iranian defense officials, the Kahair 313 is now powered by a domestically produced jet engine. This is a big deal because it shows Iran's push to develop indigenous technology and reduce dependence on foreign components. The new Kahair is also said to be capable of supersonic speeds, armed with smart missiles, and equipped with a next-gen, radar-evading surface. If all of this is true, it could be the most advanced stealth fighter developed outside of major defense powers like the U.S., China, or Russia. But here's where things get complicated. Despite the bold claims, many analysts still question whether the Kahair 313 is fully operational or just a high-tech prototype. No real combat deployment has been confirmed, and there's limited footage showing the jet in action, either flying, training, or in test runs. Some suspect the upgrades are more about psychological warfare and showcasing domestic engineering capabilities rather than producing a frontline aircraft. Still, it's hard to ignore the symbolism. The Quahair 313 represents Iran's attempt to be taken seriously in modern aerial combat and defense strategy. Whether or not it can match the power of F-35s or Su-57s, the message is clear. Iran wants its own seat at the table of air superiority. And now, in 2025, the Kahair has re-emerged not just as a bold concept, but as a potential game-changer in the region. If further tests confirm its capabilities, it could reshape air defense strategies across the Middle East. At EVN Ride, we're always watching these developments closely, because innovation doesn't just happen in Silicon Valley or Western. Factories. Sometimes it emerges from unexpected places, carrying with it a message that technology, power, and ambition are becoming more global than ever before. So what do you think? Is the Kahir 313 just an illusion of power or a genuine leap in aerospace tech? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to EVN Ride for more updates on cutting-edge tech, military reveals, and the future of innovation.